let m is equal to a matrix is given and adjoint of m is equal to a matrix is given where a and b are real numbers which of the following options e is bar are correct so when you look at the options we have question on adjoint of m and then we have a question on finding determinant of adjoint of m square and then there is a question on some finding an unknown vector alpha beta gamma then uh, there is an option on uh, finding the unknown quantities a and b given in the matrix m okay so it's a very uh, easy question but uh, you should not be doing too many calculations here see first of all um, when you are given with m and adjoint of m you must be thinking you can take say m into adjoint of m is equal to determinant of m times i so this is not required here okay because see we just have two unknowns we just have two unknowns given in the question okay so what i will do is uh, from m from m i'm going to find adjoint of m while doing so i'm going to find only a specific elements say for example i'm going to find the one one element first row first column element of adjoint of m from the matrix m so from the matrix m adjoint of m one one element is going to be you can check that it is going to be 2 minus 3b so 2 minus 3b is given as minus 1 so we have 3b is equal to 3 so we have b is equal to 1 cool that is correct now again i'm going to find adjoint of m i'm going to find uh, 2 2 element uh, so 2 2 element is going to be um, minus 3a you can observe from matrix m it is going to be minus 3a and minus 3a is given as minus 6 it is minus 6 so we got a is equal to 2 so a plus b is what is asked in the question so a plus b is equal to 3 is a right answer so option d is correct now there is uh, another one which we can easily verify which is determinant of adjoint of m square we know that determinant of m de determinant of adjoint of m is determinant of m raised to n minus 1 so in this case it is going to be determinant of m square so determinant of adjoint of m square is going to be determinant of m square whole square so this will be determinant of m whole power 4 now we have since uh, since we have uh, already found out the unknown quantities in the matrix m we have m is equal to 0 1 2 1 2 3 3 1 1 so determinant of m is going to be determinant 0 1 2 1 2 3 3 1 1 so you expand along the first row and you get determinant of m as minus 2 okay now the value of determinant of adjoint of m square is minus 2 whole power 4 that is 16 okay so that option is wrong because it's given as 81 now there is uh, adjoint of m inverse and adjoint m the whole inverse so let's try to figure that out so we have m into m inverse is equal to i so this implies m into adjoint of m divided by determinant of m is equal to i so this is m into adjoint of m is equal to determinant of i now we'll replace m with m inverse why because we are going to find the adjoint of m inverse so this will be m inverse adjoint of m inverse is equal to determinant of m inverse times i so this is uh, 1 by determinant of m times i 
take m inverse to the other side as in you pre multiply with m on both sides so a joint of m inverse is uh, m divided by determinant of m okay similarly from this from this if you take the inverse on both sides we have a joint of m all inverse m inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of m post multiply with m on both sides we have adjoint of m whole inverse is going to be m divided by determinant of m that also we found out so we have adjoint of m inverse is equal to m divided by determinant of m adjoint of m whole inverse is also m divided by determinant of m so we have adjoint of m inverse plus adjoint of m whole inverse is equal to m divided by determinant of m plus m divided by determinant of m so that is 2 by determinant of m times m and determinant of m is in this case it's minus 2 so it's minus m it is minus m so let's check that option as well yes that is true option a is true now for the last part we have m into some vector alpha beta gamma is equal to 1 2 3 vector okay so we have m into alpha beta gamma is equal to 1 2 3 and we don't have to really substitute for m here because we can simply write alpha beta gamma vector as m inverse times 1 2 3 and we already have our m inverse with us it's nothing but adjoint of m divided by determinant of m times 1 2 3 adjoint of m is already given so it is minus 1 by 2 times uh, adjoint of m is given as minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 8 minus 6 2 minus 5 3 minus 1 times 1 2 3 so this will be minus 1 by 2 times minus 2 2 minus 2 so that will be 1 minus 1 1 so we have alpha is equal to 1 beta is equal to minus 1 gamma is equal to 1 so alpha minus beta plus gamma value is 3 okay so it's a very simple problem but you should not be doing uh, doing our calculations you should only do the minimum calculation that is required to solve this problem that is very important so a b and d are the right options c is a wrong option okay 